Hi, my name's Josh. I'm one of the naturalists here at Foothill Horizons. How have you ever noticed how in the natural world, sometimes you're out in the forest or out in a field, and you find mysteries that you can't find the answer to? Well, today at Foothill Horizons Outdoor School, I've got some mysteries for you. So we're walking along here at Foothill Horizons and we've just found a big ball of mysterious objects in the tree. Something has left this up in a tree and if we get closer, we can see there seems to be an inside to this object. What do you think this is? What do you think has made this ball of feathers and lichen and other objects on this tree. Sometimes, if you want to solve a mystery, you've got to get very, very close. And here at Foothill Horizons, we're getting down on the ground trying to figure out what these mystery objects are. We've got these, which seem to have some kind of hair coming off of them, and then they seem to have this little tail, and we're finding them all over the ground right here. And then, as I crawl a little bit further along the ground here, we find more. And each one looks very, very similar. And then, around them, we have these strange scale-looking objects. And then a larger mystery object right here with these fingers coming out of it. What do you notice about each of these objects? What do you think they are? So here we are again on the ground and as we look closer we've found these strange objects that have that are rounded on the inside and then they seem to have a dust, a very bright yellow dust on the outside. So we found quite a few of these and as I pick them up you can see whew, this dust is just blowing off them and they're so dusty with this yellow that we can actually paint our faces with the dust if we're very careful and don't scratch ourselves too much. Here, here we are again and look what we found. We found this tree which is just full of these holes right here. As you go up the tree, you'll see hole after hole after hole, and each one I can just barely fit my finger into. How did all of these holes get in these trees, and why is each hole on the tree exactly the same diameter, the same distance across almost exactly each one of these holes? We've just found this gigantic boulder. <laughs> it's so big that one of our naturalists is up on the top of it. Um, it has these cracks along the center of it, multiple cracks going through the giant boulder. Here's another one. And you can actually see the trees on the other side of the boulder here. So we're caught in the middle of a process here. This deer is slowly disappearing. How long ago did this deer die? So today we explored several mysteries here at Foothill Horizons Outdoor School. Here's my challenge. What kind of mysteries can you find around your home?